how to create a brand new project uh, in github then clone it and configure with your local system and then push the code for the first time so first thing first you have to go to uh, github so by now everybody should have a github account i believe everybody does once you log into your account you can click on your profile drop down and then here you can click on your repo once you go there you can click on the the green icon says uh, new click on it and then put your project name so we're going to name it something called uh, cucumber dd framework okay and this is going to be public so you guys can use it as a reference and we're going to add readme file which is going to have the step-by-step -step process and we're going to add the git ignore since it's going to be uh, java based so we're going to choose something called java and then create a repo so this is the very first step that you guys are going to do once project is created uh, we need to clone this project into a local machine right so if you click on code drop down there will be a url so if you are a mac user you can use the ssh if you are a windows user uh, you can use the http since i'm doing it from the mac uh, i'm going to uh, copy the ssh one if you use the windows you can use the http so now i am going to use my uh, terminal you can use your uh, uh, what is it called command from so you need to go to the directory that you went, want to uh, clone this project so i usually keep my project under documents under documents there is a uh, file called github so i'm going to cd into github and i'm going to clone it here so i'm going to say git clone command b since i already copied the url so it's going to create the project uh, for me so if i go back to this file documentations there is a project called github then underneath that i just created a brand new project called cucumber bdd okay so here we have only readme file nothing else that's good so now you got to open your uh, IntelliJ, one of the ID that we are going to use. Uh, so let me just open the IntelliJ, just a second. All right so we're going to create a new project and then it's going to be a maven project uh, and then click on this checkbox so we can use the shortcut and then there is an option called maven archetype quick start click on next and then this is very important uh, you need to choose where you are going to uh, link your uh, the project that you just cloned from the github so i kept it in documents github and the project name is cucumber bdd open it and then click on next uh, just follow the steps and that's it and then uh, intellij is going to uh, recognize your project There you go. Okay. All right. So while you're creating, just you know, follow all the. Uh, follow the IntelliJ whatever the pop-up message you get in the IntelliJ just click on them and let them uh, upload everything that they needed okay I think everything has been up to date all right so a couple of things you need since we know it's going to be cucumber framework it has to be uh, uh, maven maven cucumber uh, maven uh, in it so we already have the maven because it's a maven project and we're going to introduce cucumber in it right 
So a couple of things we need to do. We need to ensure that uh, we already have the other thing, uh, which is called some plugins, right? So you go to preference. If you don't have it, you should have it by now. If you don't have it, you can go to the plugins. And if you look at my one, like if, if I click on installed, you should have this Garkin and then Cucumber because it's going to be a uh, Garkin syntax in it. So I already have it installed. That's why it goes in the installed. If you do not have it, go to the marketplace, search for those two things and then download them. So search for Cucumber for Java, search for Garkin if you don't have them. Is that clear? Okay. And then... <clears throat> If you go uh, by default, they give you something called pom.xml file, right? So we're going to use something called uh, Cucumber IO. So we don't need the dependency that came with, which is JUnit. So we can remove this, right? And then rest of the stuff, we can keep it uh, because those are the default report uh, Maven generated by default. So your project name should be here. Uh, if you want to keep this, you can keep it. Otherwise, you don't need it. You can ignore all these things. No problem with that. Now you have some code which is already configured with your GitHub, right? As you can see right here, it's pointing to your main branch. Okay. So now you can, you should push this code to the GitHub. How are you going to do it? The command is git add dot. That means it's going to include every single thing within this project. And then git commit. And then you're just going to put a message like, you know, my first commit for this project and then as you can see like it included every single files in it now if you say git push is going to push everything into your github account so if you go ahead in here and if you refresh it you should see project has been configured and it's already push it to the github okay so that's how you uh, do step one how to configure the project create the project in github clone them configure them with your local system and push it to the github any questions i guess not recording